Cool Bobcats. I'm Brennan. And I'm Johnson. Welcome to another special edition of Bobcat Business. We are here to talk about responsibility. Responsibility means to act independently with the ability to make decisions without supervision. Stay tuned for some of our Bobcats thoughts on responsibility. What does responsibility mean? To me, responsibility means to do the things that you're expected to do, take ownership in your actions, and accept the consequences, whether it's a positive consequence or a negative consequence, and learn from that. Can you explain some examples of responsibility? Of course. So when we're at school, some examples would be to take care of your tray in the lunchroom, to focus on being kind on the playground, picking up trash, making sure you remember to get your jacket when you bring it inside. Um, some responsibilities at home might be to make your bed every morning, to put the dishes in the sink, um, to play with your brother or sister, and your parents and teachers are expecting you to do what is asked and what is expected, and as you get older, your responsibilities increase and you might earn some things like being able to stay home by yourself because you showed independence and responsibility with those things. Responsibility in the classroom looks like um, working with others nicely um, and you and when everybody's taking like if you have parts or something and, I, and somebody's taking the part that you wanted um, just do the other part and uh, um, putting your name on um, your work. Responsibility means to me, well, like I have diabetes, so um, I need to be responsible of always going down to the office and checking with Miss um, Jenny. In the hall, looks like when you put your hand to yourself, you're not running. You. Um, Stay focused where you're going so you don't bump into any other kids. Responsibility in the classroom is very important. I think that it should look like working as a team, all students doing their work, not letting anybody down. If somebody's depending on you to do a job, you need to make sure that job is done well. Yes, I've seen most of the students at Beth Key doing what they're supposed to do, listening to their teachers, walking in the hall, being nice at the playground. And I think that's it. Responsibility means to me like picking up trash and like not copying other people's work. Responsibility in the hallway is making sure you're being a responsible Beth Key Bobcat. What that looks like to me is being quiet as you pass through the hallways so that classrooms that are working are able to keep their focus. Responsibility in the hallway looks like you're not talking, you're not out of line, and you're not looking back at your friends. What does responsibility look like in the library? Responsibility in the library looks like students using shelf markers. Before they look for a book, they go to the basket, they pick out a shelf marker, and when they look at a book, they put their shelf marker first on the shelf, take out the book, and see if they want it. And if they don't want it, they put the book back on the shelf. Every book has a home, and we need to keep our books in our home, and our shelf markers allow us to do that. How should kids be responsible in the library with their books? Students can be responsible with their books by taking care of them, making sure there's no food, water, gum, candy, markers, small children, pets around their dogs. We need to keep our books safe. Books are expensive, and we have to do the best we can and be responsible with our books. Responsibility on the playground looks like reminding others to not climb up the slide, throwing trash in the trash can, and most importantly, recycling what needs to be recycled. Responsibility in the classroom is good. Some people like to go outside for responsibility recess when they have a lot of work to catch up on. Some people like to stay in and finish their work. 
The people that stay in show responsibility. Well, thanks for tuning in to another special edition of Bobcat Business. We hope you enjoyed our show. I'm Brennan. And I'm Jetson. Have, Have a fabulous, fabulous day. day.